Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah. As for Bahrain's electronic fund transfer system, launched on the 5th of November 2015, has shown remarkable results on the form of the availability of the efficient and fast system that accommodates customer fund transfers within local banks through different electronic devices such as smartphones, commuters, and tablets. The system has been initiated by the Central Bank of Bahrain in collaboration with the Benefit Company. The EFTS allows retail bank customers to instantly transfer funds throughout the day from their bank accounts to recipient of accounts in any other bank in just 30 seconds through Fowry Plus, up to a maximum total amount of 1,000 Bahrain dinars per day. Today, the Financial Services Agency of Japan and the Financial Services Regulatory Authority of Abu Dhabi Global Market announced of the completion of the framework for the cooperation to promote innovation and financial services in Japan and the ADGM. The cooperation framework recognizes the global nature of innovation and financial services. It will enable FSA and the FRSA to refer innovative and fintech businesses to each other for advice and support via the FSA's fintech support desk and the FSRA's regulatory laboratory, RegLab. It also provides a framework for the information sharing between the two regulators. The Gofang, the spokesman with the Chinese Ministry of Commerce, said at a press conference in Beijing today that China has always followed the rules of the World Trade Organization and has never interfered with foreign investors in the investment in the country. Gao made the remarks in response to the U.S. Trade Representative's uh, comments that Chinese economic model posed unprecedented retards and threats to the global trading systems, forcing many big corporations to set up joint ventures in China and then make technical transfers, Gao said, since its access to the WTO in 2001, China as the biggest developing country and the world has been making active efforts to integrate itself with the global trading system. China today launched the world's fastest train, uh, Fuxin, uh, on the Beijing-Shanghai line. Fuxin's pulled off from Beijing and Shanghai, heading in the opposite directions at the speed of 350 kilometers per hour. It cuts the travel time of between the two cities from 5 hours to 4.5. Fuxin is uh, comfortable and right as it has free Wi-Fi, more power sockets, USB ports, and a wider legroom. The train has more than 2,500 sensors, 500 more than in the previous models, capable of collecting 1,500 real-time information from all carriages. If anything happens in the cooling, braking, or air conditioning systems, the alarms would sound, and if necessary, the train will slow down or simply stop at its own. Gold prices were steady on Wednesday, aided by the weaker dollar ahead of the U.S. Federal Reserve policy announcement that could signal whether it will raise interest rates for a third time this year. A threat by the U.S. President Donald Trump to totally destroy North Korea also helped to push the dollar lower while stimulating demand for gold, seen as a safe investment in times of uncertainty. A weaker dollar makes gold cheaper for holders of other currencies. Spot gold was flat at 1,311.21 U.S. dollars announced, having hit a two to half week low on Monday at 1,304.10 U.S. dollars. U.S. gold futures for December delivery were up 0.4% at 1,315.20 U.S. dollars. And finally, before we conclude our business news for this evening, let's take a look at how stock markets around the world fared in daily trading.